So you bought a nice set of polyurethane suspension bushings and you want to install them. But to install them, you first need to remove your old disgusting rubber suspension bushings. Well, stay tuned because in the next 3 minutes of this video, I'm going to show you a quick, easy and painless way to remove these from your suspension components. So here we have our control arm. Inside here you can see there's a rubber bushing and here there's another rubber bushing. Now getting the rubber bushings out is by no means an easy task. The only way to make it easy is to get a shop press, but many car enthusiasts cannot justify the cost of getting a shop press, you know, just to do this one job and then have the press sit around in your garage. So many people get tempted to burn these out. You get a torch or some other source of flame and you basically burn the rubber until it all melts out of, of, the, of the suspension component. Now, I actually didn't know better before and I did this when I was doing my engine mounts and from my personal experience I can very safely say that that is a very bad idea because burning out the rubber is a number one a health hazard, number two an environmental hazard and number three it smells beyond words, it's horrible. So what's the solution? How can we get these things out without you know suffering and torturing ourselves? Well the solution is something that isn't originally meant for the removal of suspension bushings, but it works great nevertheless. And here we have the solution. What is this? This is a gear puller. As the name suggests, this thing is made to pull gears from different, you know, mechanical components, transmissions, what have you. Now, how it works is, first of all, you have to get one that has movable arms like this. And then what you will do, you are going to attach it to the control arm, like so. And once you attach it to the control arm, you are going to get your socket, an appropriate size socket for the shaft of the gear pour and your socket wrench. And you are going to turn your socket wrench clockwise until you manage to push out the rubber bushing. So here you have it, a rubber suspension bushing removed with zero usage of flames, zero stink, and all it took was about two or three minutes of turning a socket wrench and a little bit of muscle power. Sometimes you will run into suspension bushings that will be really stubborn and it will seem that no amount of muscle power is going to be enough to get them out. Luckily there's a solution for that as well and all you are going to do is get some sort of a jar or bowl and fill it with gasoline. Then you are going to put your suspension component in that gasoline so that the entire rubber bushing is submerged in the gasoline and leave it there for maybe two or three days. What's that going to do? It's going to disintegrate the rubber and it's going to significantly weaken the bond between the metal and the rubber and it will be a lot easier to use the gear pour again and get the suspension bushing out. There you have it, as promised, a quick, easy and painless way to remove old rubber bushings. Now, I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, of course, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. If you know of some other ingenious ways to remove rubber bushings or you want you know to ask a question or want to add something to this video the comment section it's right down there below and it's all yours so i guess that's pretty much it for today thanks a lot for watching and as always stay tuned to the d4a channel